last one I'm going to touch on sector wise is just um, before Matt gives me the nod uh, <laughs> uh, is regarding the retail sector um, uh, itself. So with the retail sector, um, again, many uses. And the great thing about these these digital twins is that we can actually push it onto Google Street View, um, and then it becomes part of the Street View platform um, itself. So um, uses of digital twins in the retail sector is a to showcase the space. You can then link e-commerce into the product range um, you know post covid era e online is just massively catapulted into into the into into huge numbers and people are using digital more uh, in their time spaces mobile even um, so why not shop you know in in a space so digitize the the, the actual uh, showroom put some hot uh, hot spots in there of the, the products and 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 you can purchase it straight away online um in this in this client which is calvin klein and and the uh, the Tommy Hilfiger group, you know, in the process of uh, well, already digitized pretty much the entire asset um, showroom base here in the UK. And it's constantly refreshing with new concept stores and things like that. So they use this a lot more internally, more for their visual merchandising team. So then they keep their VM uh, practices consistent across all the stores. So what, what is done in London Region Street, for example, by the VM team is replicated exactly by anyone else around the country as well. So yeah a lot of different uses them um, um and it's it's uh, I, I mean i think with the time that we've got this is going to be some interesting questions coming coming by um matt i think i'm going to wrap up i haven't i didn't look at the time yeah, there, so apologies I'm not no that's great thank you simon 